Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of pyonephrosis in a patient of about 2 years old. Pyonephrosis is defined as infected hydronephrosis complicated by infective destruction of the renal parenchyma or the presence of pus in the dilated pelvic ciliary system you can see the left kidney it is grossly dilated due to the dilatation of the pelvic ciliary system a large amount of thick sludge is seen now you can see the urinary bladder it also has a thick sludge in its interior pyonephrosis that is pus in the renal pelvis results from urinary tract obstruction in the presence of pyelonephritis similar to an abscess Pyonephrosis is typically associated with fever, chills, and flank pains, although some patients may be asymptomatic. You can see the right kidney. Right kidney is ecomeconormal, but the size of the kidney was in, enlarged due to the compensatory hypertrophy. As the left kidney showed marked reduction in the renal cortical thickness. So the right kidney shows compensatory hypertrophy. The patient is a small child of about 2 years. Pylonephritis, another term which, which is inflammation of the kidney, typical, typically due to the bacterial infection. Symptoms may often include fever and flank tenderness. Other symptoms may include nausea, burning in with urination and frequent urination. Complications may include pus around the kidney, sepsis or kidney failure. Again, you can see the left kidney and pus is seen in the dilated pelvic ciliary system and this kidney shows larger size due to the gross hydronephrosis and dilatation of the pelvic ciliary system and you can see the cortical thickness is reduced to minimum again you can see the right kidney which is ecomeconormal but shows compensatory hypertrophy this is left kidney and you can see the thick sludge floating in the fluid present in the dilated pelvic ciliary system of the left kidney Two common lab tests are performed to diagnose kidney infections, pyelonephritis. A urine sample is examined under a microscope to determine if white blood cells or red blood cells are present. The urine is also sent to the lab to see if bacteria grow in the urine culture. Now you can see the urinary bladder and it looks, it has a large amount of thick sludge in it. You can see some important information in the description of this video. This is your knee bladder and this is the left kidney. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.